As we've discussed recently, the word occult means hidden, and the dark satanic occult which has been ruling over humanity maintains its power by hiding knowledge from the public. This hidden knowledge can be described as natural law or universal law, inescapable laws of reality that affect each and every one of us from moment to moment. They have been hidden from the public as a means of keeping humanity ignorant. They have been hidden from the public as a means of keeping humanity ignorant and thereby controllable and ultimately enslaved. So long as we remain ignorant of them, mankind will never be free. Satan is the prince of the power of the air, is to signify that in some way he rules over the world and the people in it. This is not to say that he rules the world completely. God is still sovereign. But it does mean that God, in his infinite wisdom, has allowed Satan to operate in this world within the boundaries God has set for him. When the Bible says Satan has power over the world, we must remember that God has given him domain over unbelievers only. Believers are no longer under the rule of Satan. Unbelievers, on the other hand, are caught in the snare of the devil, lie in the power of the evil one, and are in bondage to Satan. So when the Bible says that Satan is the god of this world, it's not saying that he has ultimate authority. It is conveying the idea that Satan rules over the unbelieving world in a specific way. The unbeliever follows Satan's agenda. The god of this world has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Satan's scheme includes promoting false philosophies in the world, philosophies that blind the unbeliever to the truth of the gospel. Satan's philosophies are the fortresses in which people are imprisoned and they must be set free by Christ. An example of one such false philosophy is the belief that man can earn God's favor by a certain act or acts. In almost every false religion, meriting God's favor or earning eternal life is a predominant theme. However, man cannot work to earn God's favor. Eternal life is a free gift, and that free gift is available through Jesus Christ and Him alone. You may ask why mankind does not simply receive the free gift of salvation. The answer is that Satan, the god of this world, has tempted mankind to follow his pride instead. Satan sets the agenda, the unbelieving world follows, and mankind continues to be deceived. It is no wonder that scripture calls Satan a liar.